Hello. I'm so mad at myself right now. Um, I just watched Ten's Nightwalker dance practice and Wavy's Phantom dance practice and when I was gonna like click end recording I saw that I wasn't recording at all which is great <laughs> which sucks so bad because I feel like this is like I was like so like I had so many comments I had so many like things I, I, I wanted to say um so yeah i thought i would at least explain it here just because i do want to like tell you what i felt when watching it but like if you just want to like be here for the like reaction then i'm gonna like leave a timestamp for like when we're actually gonna watch them uh if you're not interested in like hearing my thoughts here which is fine that's up to you um but i wanted to put it into the video anyways <laughs> So for Ten at least, it's like the way he moves his body, it's so graceful and like he like he he like demands you can say like your attention. Like even when he is in, in a room full of dancers, like there's no like there's no doubt who is the main focus. Uh it definitely is him. He's just so like captivating to look at and it's just, just such a talented dancer. Um, yeah, I, I love watching him. Also, the fact that I, I still feel like he doesn't have bones. when he, Like, I wonder where his bones goes when he dances. Because I feel like they're, they're not here. Um, and what, what I also talked about, even though I didn't record it, is the way I feel like, you know how songs usually have choreo to, like, elevate... The song and like performance and everything well i feel like it's backwards with 10 i feel like with 10 it's like his song is there to tell what his body cannot you know i feel like he's telling a story with his body and then the words of the song is there to like just like complement what his body movements and his body language can't tell um and I feel like with his choreos, like, there's always, like, a meaning. There's always a reason why that move is done to that certain lyrics or just... I feel like there's always, like, a point to his choreo. It's not, like, just to, like, highlight the performance of it. It's, like, it's it's storytelling on a deeper level, I feel like, with him. Um, and like I said multiple times, I don't have any dance knowledge. I just... That's just, like, my observation just as, like, like... A normal human being with no talent <laughs> for dancing uh, but still it just it feels so it draws you in still kind of like the way he moves his body is very like it demands attention I will say it's just yeah very very graceful and He's just so, so goddamn talented in everything he does when it comes to dance. And I feel like even for me, who like doesn't have any knowledge, I still feel like I can understand at least the emotion of what he's trying to say. Even if I can't like understand like every movement, like in every like lyrics or like, yeah. He's just a very good storyteller and he does that through dance. And yeah, I just, I feel like... Like I said, I feel like with him it's backward. I feel like the music is there just to like elevate the dancing, not the other way around. Like like it usually is. Like the dancing is there to elevate the song, kind of. Yeah. And then we have "Phantom" by Wavy, uh, which I love. I think you all know by now that I love this song so much. Um, and what I wanted to say with that choreo is the way what like. Um, again, no dance knowledge. My knowledge comes from the theater stage and like studying theater. Um, and the way they are so good at like places and communicating with each other. And I don't know what the term is when it comes to dancing, but there is a thing called upstaging when it comes to the world of theater, uh, where it is, if you are two people standing on stage and one is standing in front of you, uh, and you, you 
like standing behind here or like demanding all of the attention because you have to like have the person standing in front turn around and face you you're upstaging that person because you're taking all the focus you know sometimes that is good but sometimes that also takes the focus away from the person that is actually like supposed to be in focus you know uh now i don't know if we have if there is a term in dancing for that but it just really like my my like my eyes always goes to the person who is singing and that person doesn't necessarily have to be in the middle but that's like i feel like that's like where i'm like my eyes are trained to like go and they're so good at like standing just still at places and just like standing there not taking the focus away there is a part um in the there is a part in the choreo where Yang Yang is almost like all up in the camera and like he's like blonde, like almost white hair. It's very like, it stands out, but still my focus is still like on uh, Henry and then Xiao Jun behind him because they're just so good at like not taking focus. I guess you can also say they're very like economic with their movements uh, in a way. And I also talked about spatial awareness uh, before. Um, Again, I don't know if these are like terms that are used by dancers, uh, but they are terms that are used in theater, in the world of theater, and I just, I love that so much. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I felt like that are like my initial thoughts and what I talked about during the dance practice, and I'm so mad I didn't get it <laughs> into an actual video when watching it, because I felt like I finally had something smart to say, you know? Um, yeah, but I thought we would watch it again anyways, even if it isn't a first time reaction, I'm gonna call it a rewatch because it will be, uh, and I will try to like point out where I like felt the things I've talked about now. I mean, in all honesty, I don't mind watching this over again because I love this uh, dance uh, and I love the song and everything about it. Same with Phantom. So yeah, I'm not complaining about that. It's just, it sucks not getting the actual like first initial reaction on camera. But here we are. So, all right, let's watch this. Yeah, also, I know I could probably just have like said this during everything happening uh but i just i wanted to make sure that i actually managed to say everything i wanted to not getting distracted <laughs> okay now let's go Oh, yeah, I forgot to say that. Uh, that's actually one thing I also commented on, is how uh, the verses are kind of like going like the same tempo, as well as the chorus. I mean, it is a switch up in tempo, obviously, but like when the verse is, is, it's like it's the same tempo. And when they're like chorus hits, it's another tempo, but it like it's constant through. But like his movement, like it keeps on switching between fast and um, slow tempo. And I really like that how he like have different tempo in his dancing although like the song itself is like constant same tempo if that makes sense yeah i love hearing this part again my favorite part of the song. Yeah, it's also like with these movements, the slow movements, where I really feel like I said with like there being a purpose of each move he does. And with like the movements are there from like the beginning and then the, the song is there to like... And then comes like the part I talked about with uh, how his like main focus is the dance and then like the lyrics and the song is there to like fill in any gaps that his body cannot tell us you know yeah
this is one of the parts where like the, the chorus is like the same tempo but his movements are very like slow and fast like yeah There's also like a part coming where he's dancing with just the guys in here and when he like disappears behind him like he's still like the main focus which like they're all talented but, like there's like no like doubt on who is our like main focus here I love the part coming now. I don't know exactly what it is because I feel like they're doing the same movement but it's actually but it's like he is doing the movement slightly different and that's what like maybe grabs my attention so much I'm not sure but like I feel like he's doing something different than every other and maybe he is maybe he isn't I don't know but like that's just how it feels like because he's like he's so captivating you know Obviously there he did do something else, but like, I feel like that whole like segment is, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna do much talking because I feel like I've talked enough, so I'm just gonna jump straight into Phantom. I also did say when I watched this was how I like this was the second song I ever heard from Wavy uh, and this is the song that like made me like say like this is gonna be my group you know I knew after the first like not the first but like the second song I knew that this is gonna be my group this is like this is this is yeah this is gonna be my group so this song I think will always like have a very special place in my heart from now on because of that um also, I just, I really love the song, like, the, 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 we're starting off with, like, the deeper vocals, rapping, and, you know, everything just was, like, hitting me at the same time. Um, I'm just, yeah. So I think that's also part of why I love this song so much. It's a really good song, like, by itself, too, but I think, like, the meaning behind it, too, just elevates it for me. Uh, I really love this choreo, too. It's such a good choreo. Like, every choreo... They have done so far is really really good but like just something about it um it's just so so talented i feel like everything about wavy like draws you in and i'm so here for it so yeah let's go I feel also the part where like I'm talking about well, what I mentioned about them being like economic with their movements is I feel like if you're not trained I'm guessing in both dance and also if you're not like trained to be on a stage you will like take like small like steps all the time like tripping almost uh it's not tripping because tripping is something else uh you will be like like walking in place like taking small steps but you're standing still I don't know what that's called it's called like tripping ponoshk in Norwegian, <laughs> but it's not tripping because tripping is falling. It's not tri it's not tripping, but like um, I don't remember I don't remember the words, but I think you know what I'm like saying. But they're so economic, like they're not moving unless they have to, kind of, you know. Yeah, 
I also did say that um, my like eye goes to whoever is singing. So like I almost have to like force myself to look around and look at the other members as well because they're so like giving the attention to the person singing, which you are supposed to, I feel like when you're performing. Uh, but yeah. I also love the move uh, Win Win does, like, it's like a clock. Also that hip movement still has an effect on me, even though I've seen it so many times now. I think that might be like my favorite part of the like lyrics, like the song is Young Young's like rap here after the first chorus, like so satisfying to listen to. Yeah, this was the part, like, I was talking about how, like, Yang Yang is, like, all up in the, like, camera, but still my focus is, like, still behind him, uh, which was what I was talking about when it comes to, like, upstaging, like, he's giving all, like, his attention to his, like, bandmates uh, by standing so still and, like, uh, same as, like, win-win, because, -win. Uh, like, if I didn't, like, know he was standing there, I wouldn't, like, even notice it because they're so, like, good at the, uh, like, yeah, giving the attention to the other members. I love that little walk of his. They're so talented. Oh my god. I love it. Um, yeah, there was like no... Um, I don't mind watching this multiple times, but just, yeah. They're just they're so good at what they're doing. Like, so, so good. Alright, so I am sorry that this wasn't like a first time reaction as it initially was. I just didn't record it. <laughs> 
Um, so I'm sorry. I hope still that like what I said made sense and that like I explained myself well enough. Uh, I also hope you enjoyed watching this even though it wasn't like an actual like first time reaction. Uh, I still wanted to upload it so I still wanted to like tell you how I felt about it and like yeah even though like I said it isn't like an actual first time reaction to this after all. Um, but I want to keep it honest and yeah do the best out of the situation um yeah so it is what it is i can't do anything about it i just watched it like two times instead of the first one um but yeah anyways thank you for watching if you watched all the way over here uh and yeah like i said i hope what i said made sense to you and yeah not much more to say really uh yeah I'm excited to watch more dance practices though and hopefully I will actually be able to record them the first time properly. So note to self, don't forget to actually press the record button. <laughs> Alright, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you watched all the way over here, you're a gem and if you liked it, then I'm really glad I made something that you enjoyed. Until the next time I post, goodbye!